pretty basic bushcraft stuff. Seven minutes to throw together, but we're having muskrat. You ever had that? That's good stuff. Thank you, little critter. Coffee, ASMR. You are watching Riverbend Longbows Outdoors. Hey folks, Ray here, Riverbend Longbows Outdoors. Today is the first day of spring. It's still pretty dang chilly. <laughs> But I'm gonna get out and uh, do some exploring. It's supposed to start raining in a few days, so I thought I'd better do it now. I'm gonna try to look for some turkey tail mushrooms, maybe some shed antlers, stop and have some lunch, and just enjoy the day, so come along. These are old dried up ones. Those might be false. I don't really have a chorus underbelly. Like the boys have been out cleaning up the timber a little bit. There was a bunch of deadfalls down through here. They're all cut up off to the sides. Pretty nice. Yeah, it's not too bad down in here out of the wind. But I still brought my tarp just in case. Got to set up a little wind shelter, make some lunch. We're having muskrat. You ever had that? That's on the menu. Oh, I was too late with the camera. I just spooked about seven or eight deer up along that ridge. Oops. It's pretty windy. Well, I've been walking zigzagging ridges. Haven't found anything yet. All the turkey tail mushrooms I found are all dried up. Our peak season's really not till about April or May. Wife and I went out and found some pretty good ones the other day, but anyway, I think I'm gonna tuck back down up in this draw and uh, find a way out of the wind a little bit and set up and make some lunch. I'm starving. Come with me. I know sometimes it's hard to tell on camera. Man, that wind is wailing up there in those trees. Quite drafty down here as well. Kind of making me nervous with some of these dead ash trees. I'll tell you that. Find a spot up here and fry up some muskrat. Cruiser today. All right, got my bell. Happens. DD tarp set up, just kind of a three-quarter lay. I always carry my ridge line with preloaded pressic knots loop, so it's real easy. It only took like two minutes to set up. I thought the camera was rolling, so sorry. Little stick toggles to go in, and just a taut line hitch over there. So pretty basic bushcraft stuff. There's some stuff out. I just brought my twig stove. It's a little more manageable, especially with the wind and everything. Getting the ground cloth. I like this 
three quarter late too. Keep your pack out of the dirt back there. Kind of holds that back down too. This is nice. There's like no wind. Just gonna chill out a minute before I get started. Long winter. Especially that tail end part. <laughs> Not over yet either. Hey. Rig me up a chair real quick. Brought my uh, bushcraft chair. <sighs> Cut me some sticks. them off a bit so they're not sharp. Do the other two. Just take a little hank of uh, paracord, loop in one end. Years ago, Joe Robinette did a video. You've seen that it's tarp shelter. I sent him one of these. He shows how to do it too. Here we go. Tripod chair. Pretty simple. Wrap that against itself. Much better. I don't sit in the dirt anymore. Too old for that. Hey, there we go. Took about, I don't know, seven minutes to throw together, but yeah, I sew these up. It's just got triangle corners. I think it's 12 by 12. Real easy field chair. Alrighty. Got my cutting board. A little working area here. Like I said, I just brought the twig stove so I don't have a fire that could possibly get out of control. It all fits inside my uh, new zebra pot too. It's pretty dang handy. Got my little uh, tray so I manage my coals. I've shared this yet or not, but I found my old Boy Scout cutlery kit from when I was a kid. 
I wasn't in the Boy Scouts, but I've had this since I was little. Wanted to join the Boy Scouts, but uh, where I lived, I didn't really want to be around that group of kids. <laughs> so I did my own thing. All right, got to gather sticks for the stove and we'll get cooking. Got plenty of fuel here. <laughs> Perfect. chunk of fat wood here. Some of that carved up. I found me a piece of bark to put it on instead. That leaf is crumbled. Of course, they never go where you're trying to get them to go. That's common. Get out of there. My feral rod. There we go. Dun, dun, dun. Skillet warmed up. That's just olive oil. These are them little squeezy tubes from Walmart. Pretty handy for this kind of stuff. Alright. This is a little Muskrat hindquarters. Yeah, I'll show you. I like squirrel. Brought some flour. I'm just gonna flour them up and fry them. Bag of flour. Oh, the muskrat, you're probably wondering. My uh, nephew traps, and he traps for a lot of uh, farmers with ponds, and they get overrun with muskrats, so he goes in and traps them out. <clears throat> I had him bring me by a few so I could keep the meat. They're good, they're tasty. And, uh, yeah, so that's why that's why it is. I know you're thinking, what? Surprise you. I don't do the milk or anything, just use the fluid of the body, it's, or the meat itself to hold onto the flour. Shake and bake, baby, shake and bake. Mountain man food. Fire going. See if the oil's hot. Oh yeah. Here we go. Pepper. A salt. There we go. Got potatoes. Get 
and little tongs. rest chia perhaps some taters there we go wonderful Good. Okay. Spice these up a bit. Pepper, a little salt. my ice fishing overnighter. I finally got this figured out so I don't open the wrong end. <laughs> that was a disaster. Mmm. Good. Where's my fork? All right, set these on top so they can rewarm while the taters finish. set this tarp up because it'd be really chilly right now without it. It's kind of a windbreak stop dilly. Alright. Call that good. Let that rest for a minute. Get my water going. Big time. Look at that. Juicy meat. Mmm. Roast beef on the bone. It's really weird. It's not what you would expect. But, think about it. Mmm. Muskrats only eat like shoots, roots. They're not carnivores. Oh my god, that's good. Yeah, I don't even know how to describe it. Squirrel, maybe? Rabbit? Mm. 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 It's 
So if you're a trapper, don't throw them in the ditch, man. Eat them. Oh my goodness. Mm. All right. It literally is like like prime roast beef. I don't know. Oh, blows your mind. Nothing like you'd expect what society puts in your brain of what's right to eat and what's not. That is exceptional. Mmm. Mm, bone. Anyway, I'm gonna eat. <laughs> Next, some raccoons gonna love that tonight. Or eat some of my taters. Taters, precious. Mm. I'm gonna be stuffed. I have to roll up and take a nap. <laughs> So good. Like what I was saying, if you're trapping, you gotta skin them anyway. It's all right there. Just cut the hind quarters out. It's good to go. There's actually quite a bit of meat on the up front too, but eat what you kill. <clears throat> That's what I say. Mm. Tater. just realized I didn't bring my bag for my skillet. I'm gonna have to carry this thing out by hand. <laughs> Oops. Like Carolina Chris says, if you were here, I'd share. <laughs> oh. I needed some meat. You know what it actually reminds me of? Well, not weird. Thank you, little critter. I put my coat back on. A little chilly. Got one of these little pour through dillies for Christmas. Use it for my mushroom tea to strain the mushrooms. I try it with this. My coal cracker, dawn cracker coffee. Pretty good stuff. Oh yeah, it's making a good brew. Give you a close up. There's some coffee, ASMR. Perfect. All right.
Glad I made this chair. GoPro start record. Oh, there you are. It's already recording. Sorry. Well, that cleaned up pretty easy, actually. Just poured some water back through it opposite. It's ready to go. Sweet. All right. Kind of like that idea. That'll work. All right. All right, folks. Not much else going on. I'm gonna enjoy some coffee, do the old cleanup. I head out of here. Appreciate all of you who stuck around and watched. Yep. And uh, yeah, really appreciate everybody who's been tuning in. Chunk of wood. <laughs> I got it. Anyway, sayonara. Thanks for watching.